Hello there, I'm in right here from Arminet Media. Today I'm going to show you how to easily download any video from your Android phone without using YouTube downloaders that are not working for you. Most times I've seen people use YouTube downloader and, and they won't be able to access the video in any other file in their, in their Android phone except through the YouTube downloader and they can't send it out to someone else. Although those files might have little MB to it, all right, the file size is very little, and I don't like using those things. I like sharing my videos when I download them. So I'm going to show you how you can download any video from YouTube and send it out to anyone and access it anywhere in your file. Uh, right now I'm in YouTube app, which I don't like using, okay? I'm going to go to my Google Chrome right now, which is the place I like using to download every YouTube video. That I love to watch later on and not on YouTube. So let's go to Chrome right now. Okay, we are in Chrome. If you don't have Chrome installed in your phone, you can go to Google Play right now and install Chrome browser to your phone. It's a very great application. So how do you do this? Now this is a video I opened just for the purpose of this course to show you how to easily download this thing. It's very simple. Anyone can do it. You can do it with any phone, not even only Android. This particular pattern you can do it with any phone that comes to you, that is handed to you, okay? Once the phone can open a YouTube page very comfortably, you can download that video from there. All right, let's get to it. So how do you do it? You simply go to the search bar, all right? It's not showing anything there. You have create accounts that is showing uh, after the name of the video, how to create to the animation. So it's showing, the first one is a copy icon. The second one is here icon. The third one is edit icon, right? That looks like a pencil. That's the edit icon. That's the one you are interested in. That's the one you should click right now. So I'm going to click it, click it. Once I click it, it shows the address of the video. So what you want to do, you want to edit the address. So move the cursor, the blinking cursor, to the front of the YouTube, right? Anywhere, anywhere, any phone you can use. It says HTTPS column slash slash M. That M is mobile. It means that you're using a mobile phone, okay? So it's, it's a u mobile user version. So the M dot, after the M dot, even if the M dot is not there, go to in front of that Y of the YouTube and type SS. That's double S. All right? So once you type double S, send it. Okay, we're sending it now, it's moving. Um, all right, time about my internet is back. Now it brings you to where you, the page where you have to download this video into your phone right now and access it immediately. So you see, save from that net. That is the website that helps you download this video. Okay, you can see download icon under the video. It's showing MP4 720. That is the highest file size of this video, which is not what I want to download with. Uh, why is because it's unnecessarily large, okay? The one I like to use, you can click on the arrow of, for the drop down, okay? Once you click the arrow, it drops down, gives you more options. The one I like to use is the second one, which is, is the second one, which is the MP4 360. Okay, why do I like using this MP4? Is the, the file is less larger than the previous one, the first one, okay? It's moderate, all right? And once I play it in my phone, it is clear. And if I move it to my PC and play it, it is also clear. So if you use any other format lower than this 360, okay, you might have an issue. Uh, most of the times you, you see web, WebM. This WebM is, a, is also a good format, but because it doesn't have um, an audio, you, you see the audio sign is not showing, so you don't want to download that, something that doesn't have an audio. So that's why I like using this 360. So I click on the 360. Now it's taking me to an advert page. So I close the advert page and go back to my main page. All right, it's loading. All right, this is the right download page where we want to be. Now, if you look below the video, you will see three icons. All right, one is the volume icon, the second one is if you want to watch this video on full screen, all right? And those are now the icons we want to click. Now, the significant icon is the last icon, which shows three dots. Click on that dot, brings out download. So click on download. All right, once you click on download, it brings out the equation. Why 
it's not supposed to bring out this question for me, okay? Why it brings out this question is because I already have a video that is named mm -hmm. videoplayback.mp4. So it's asking me, do you want to download video playback or MP4 again? Thinks is thinking that it's the old video, which is not what I want to do. So I'm not going to download this video. So, but if you want to download this video, you click on download and it starts downloading. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to stop it from downloading. So I cancel it, go back. I don't actually like using this uh, pattern most of the times because it renames the video to video playback, which most times is confusing. You might not find it easily in your folder unless you play it, okay? So that brings us to the next option, which I love so much to use, okay? Not, uh, which I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to go back to save from that .NET page, okay? All right, we, we are back to the save from that .NET page. Okay, um, this option I already showed you um, how to download a YouTube video easily from your laptop. If you haven't watched that um, part of the video, you can go back to that video and watch it right now to know how you can download this video easily from your laptop to know the options you can use. Okay, so what we are looking for here is install Firefox mobile browser. You don't want to do that. This is something else, okay? You want to scroll down and look for because you're using an Android phone. You want to scroll down, go to partners, okay? Wait, guys, partners, save from that net app for Android. So if you don't have an Android phone, this second option is not for you, okay? The first option is for everybody. Once your phone can open YouTube website comfortably, all right? So you can download any video, whether you are using an Android phone or not, all right? So this is only for Android users. So you, you need to download this app, click it, click on it, click on the link. Now it brings you to where you can download the app, okay? So if you click on download app below this page, it will move you to where you can download the app. I do not want to download the app because I already have it in my phone. So go ahead and click it and download the app. So let's go to the app right now. So I'm going to open the app. I already opened it. So once you finish installing it, click on the app to open it. This is what you will see in the face of the app. All right, there are two ways you can do this. You can either, you see where it says, insert your link or type web address. Now, you have searched the link from the Chrome. Let's go back to the main view. All right, you've searched the link from the Chrome. What you want to do, click on the address bar again, okay? It opens those three icons that I mentioned earlier. Now, you want to click on the copy. Now, it says URL copy. So I now go back to the save from .NET app, then click and hold and paste. Once I paste this um, URL here, it opens it immediately. I don't, mm -hmm. need, I, I don't need to send again for it to open. Now another thing you should know is there's um, bookmarks. There are bookmarks below this search bar, All right? You can see YouTube, Instagram, Vimeo, and Facebook. All right, if you click, if you want to search your YouTube and download directly from this app, you can just click on YouTube, all right? It opens the YouTube web page for you to download your videos, and you start searching your videos from there. Now, we've copied the link, and that's the one we want to do right now. Then I click and hold on the search bar and paste it. Click and hold and paste. So it opens immediately once I paste the address. It opens that particular video that I want, to, I want to download, not watch, okay? You can also watch it from here. So, see what we write here on the green hey everyone, it's Steve here. message like um, icon here. If there is a video on the page, download button will be active. Press on it. All right, it's very simple, um, very self-explanatory. So, if I put, click on download right now, it will start downloading this video, which is not what I want to do, okay? so. I'm going to go back. If this is the video you want to download, you can go ahead and click on the download, all right, so that you download this video. Once you download this video, you come back to this place, all right? Once you, let, let me do that now, okay? I insert at the link. We are back to the page right now. So once you download this video, you come back to this page, all right? If you look below this app, you will see storage and browser. 
all right once you click on storage you will see every video is downloaded any video downloads you will see it count here with a red numbering one two three depending on how many videos you downloaded i don't know why these guys are sending me all these messages right now okay so i'm going to there are no videos i downloaded right now but i'm going to go on storage to see all the videos i downloaded already so i click on storage it stacks it up as i downloaded it from uh, 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 it stacks it up from when it was downloaded date and time okay so these are the last videos i downloaded up here says today which is uh, the day i'm doing this video right now and if you go to your prime manager you will see every video you've downloaded here it's available to you if you go to your uh, video player you'll see it so you don't have to always play it from this app or from any YouTube downloader app right like other YouTube downloaders do so that concludes the two ways I know you can use to download any video from your phone Android phone the first way is any phone and the second way is only Android phone so guys I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I'd like you to give us a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to follow us by subscribing there are more cool videos that will be coming up and don't forget to hit the notification button so that you get notifications of all the videos cool things you can do will be sending it to you through this channel see you in the next video